and he is in a wonderful spot here in San Antonio. Spurs come in at three and three with wins over Houston, Utah, and Minnesota. This is their first trip here to win to a dome. They were much better when Trey Jones was out there. There was no doubt about it. Zoo working on when Vinyama is certainly intimidated by the length as one should. Would be impossible just a straight post up. But pick and roll. Roll to the basket. Drag screens. Trot. <laughs> to minimize some he of can his still cover that ground <laughs> faster than anybody in the that's league. <laughs> and the, and, but that's the that's the beauty and that's the challenge that you have as a coaching staff. Zoo great position when Benyama lurking like a canopy over the top of them, unable to convert man with a rebound. Top side to Derek Jones Jr. for three. It then begins to dwindle as the game goes on. Tough shot for Powell. Rebound, great position by Zhu, but surrounded by a trio of defenders. Sohan digs it out, and here comes San Antonio. Hakeem Olajuwon have done it multiple times. He is absolutely sensational, just 21 years of age. The first just two for eight. Spurs seven for 11. Zach Collins alone for three. A gifted shooter. A stretch five. Year for San Antonio. Zoo, a deep floater, no. So you tend to settle and settle when you're a good shooter for a three-point shot or a pull-up outside of the lane, and that's what we see with Chris Paul. Zoo leaves it short, unable to get. So they are used to playing well in spurts or have had good spurts. Whistle offense about this is one of the most forgettable quarters I remember in a long, long time. Clippers closed out the first quarter on a two to ten run. Now they go to Zoo against Victor Wenbenyama. Deep into the paint, puts it up, and puts it through. It is 40 to 16. I like it. Here's Chris Dunn. And Wemby, a foul against Kevin Porter Jr. Yeah, that's when he really can't afford to pick up. I believe that's his second. Yep, that's his second. So two fouls against Victor. Porter Jr. fading away and hits it. Yeah, you don't want him to get on court. Clippers have hit four or five here to open things up. Zoo on Wembenyama, who did pick up two quick fouls back in the first quarter. Zoo gets into the paint. Floater blocked by Wembenyama without much of an effort. Lob to Zoo after the nice interception by Porter Jr. Goes right to work on Wembenyama. Puts it up with the left hand. It crawls off the iron. A third and fourth effort not there. Zoo keeps it alive. The floater is good. Lob to Zoo after the nice interception by Porter Jr. Goes right to work on Wembenyama. Puts it up with the left hand. It crawls off the iron. A third and fourth effort not there. Zoo keeps it alive. The floater is good. <laughs> Clippers did trail by, yep, you heard me right, 26. Got the move inside by Zoo. Whistle foul. This time it's on Collins. Foul. Zoo has been a foul magnet here. And Zoo is able to crab dribble himself down into the paint and get the shot that he wanted, ultimately picking up the foul. But I do like that on the offensive end. Great job by that trio. Probably the best stretch of basketball that trio has played together. Zoo. Johnson is. There, awkward shot by Zhu, but another offensive rebound and recovery. Zhu, Johnson is there, awkward shot by Zhu, but another offensive rebound and recovery. Powell finds man in the corner for the catch and shoot three. Zhu, right place, right time. Unable to get his own rebound, Chris Paul saves the loose ball with 425 to play. Clippers trail by 10 in the first half. Paul going to his right hand when he loves to shoot that little fadeaway jump shot. That was the influence of Wimby. There's a convergence of Clipper players. Oh, Wimby got it. Oh! <laughs> Spurs were just 5 for 20 in that second quarter. Clippers 16 of 23. Jones Jr. in the corner. The triple is offline. Zoo with another rebound. Derek Jones Jr. for three and puts it in. Levitsa Zubats has 10 off. Zoo again on Wembenyama surveys the scene. Dismissed rather easily in their early years. Were able to get to the hype and of course LeBron has exceeded it. Some will tell you he's the best player to ever play the game. You're not going to get much of an argument from many people anymore as Levitsa Zubats lays it in. You know Tim Duncan. You know, Hall of Fame players, he's in a good position to do something special. Nice Zoo patiently waiting for Porter Jr. to cut. Plays catch with Batum. 
Now, without Wembenyama in there, on the mismatch, Zhu sends it over to Kofi. The catch and shoot, rhythmic three. Oh, he's put it in! The brewmaster brings the Clippers to within seven. The rebound, and that's what you love to see. Porter Jr. accelerates up and under. The fadeaway over Paul. It is short rebound. Whistle foul to go on Zhu. It'll be his second, team's first. 17 to seven here in the fourth. Wembenyama has settled for jumpers. This one's a floater. It falls short. Two with a rebound. Zoo. Oh, how was it nasty? Count it out a foul. Timeline close to the logo. I asked him before the game, what's the, are you extending your range? He said a little bit of yes, and I'm also making. Zoo goes to work on Wembenyama. Up, under. Not going to get it off. Great defense by Chris Paul. But a loose ball up for grabs. And a foul goes on Paul. Done. Jim Penny with a rebound. Long way to go. One minute to play. Paul. It's Zoo dancing. Whistle. Foul on the floor. It's a good foul by Zoo. The Clippers had one to give. Clippers are going to pick up their first official win here at Intuit Dome, and it could not come in better fashion. Down 26, they win 113 to 104.